Hi guys, so um, Dr. Barry here, and I wanted to make this short video on mudras. So mudras is a part of our um, six-week class um, that we're doing, and uh, the mudras, uh, you know, are very. It's it's a very interesting um, yogic uh, science um, in which, and it's typical of tantra yoga. So. Tantra yoga is all about energy. We discussed that. It's all about movement of energy within the body, conserving energy, activating energy, um, using that energy to not only energize yourself, but also um, create a oneness with um, the universal consciousness. But a lot of um, power is associated with this concept of mudras. And mudras are basically um, using our fingers to kind of direct energy within the body. So um, first of all, how we're able to do that is that each of these fingers are um, considered to be representing an element. So we have fire, we have um, air, and we have space, we have earth, and then we have water. So um, the typical different, uh, you know, mudras that you know, I'll teach in class are, are basically, um, uh, you know, kind of uh, ways to balance these elements within the body. And, um, you know, obviously we know as physicians that our fingertips are equipped with a lot of uh, mycinotes, corpuscles, which are the cells that are sensory um, cells. They're abundant in our fingertips. So they typically transmit, um, you know, the nervous impulses directly into our brain. So according to mudra science that, you know, the, the different types of um, positions that you're putting the fingers in are gonna help direct um, the flow of prana or energy from the fingers up into a certain part, like through the, the sensory input is gonna help the brain decide where the prana should be focused on in your body. So there are um, you know, definitely various, uh, a lot of different mudras and there's actually a beautiful book that I would recommend if you guys are really into mudra science. Um, I'll put more information on this book um, below, uh, but otherwise it's it's a, um, you know, there, there are five or six basic mudras that I almost recommend kind of doing in your daily practice. It would be very helpful and I'll teach them in class um, that are, um, but I, you know, especially when you're in a meditative pose, um, if you want to just like in increase concentration, help with like mental clarity. So various different um, positions that we can use with the fingers that help with, um, and they're simple, they can be done any time in the day. They can be done when you're in meditation, can be done while you're doing yoga, they can be done when you're just um, sitting and watching TV, they can be done when you're sitting on the train, um, getting back home. Um, so there, uh, these uh, mudras are given a lot of importance and actually not just to help the mental clarity and, and energize the body, but also to help heal different parts of the body. So especially balancing the earth element is, um, you know, for, uh, it's actually considered a mudra for beautification, so anti-aging, um, because it's, it's all about, um, you know, restructuring your earth element or focusing the prana towards the earth element of the body. And, and if you remember, I always uh, give the example of the cell, the human cell. And if you think about uh, the five elements, where these five elements are located, you have the fire element in the mitochondria where the metabolic activity is happening. You have the water element in the cytosol of the cell. You have the earth element, which forms the wall. You have the air element that is actually causing all the movement within the cell. And then you have the space element, which is the space in between each of the cells. So each of these mudras are, or each of these positions with the fingertips are helping balance those elements within the body. And, you know, it's also anatomically directing the flow. So depending on the position, so um, your typical, you know, Gyana mudra, um, and uh, dhyana mudra, the, the jnana and the dhyana, you're kind of combining it together. And I'll, I'll teach this one in class because I think it's a beautiful one, especially for um, the meditation. So we're not only, um, you know, uh, 
touching the palms, the two palms um, with each other, the back of the hand and the palm, which actually represent the back of the spine and the front. So, and, and the fingertips have their own um, kind of, especially the, the, the air element and the fire element, it's directing um, the concentration of the prana to the brain to help you know channel um, more clarity, enlightenment, and uh, to have you know a more uh, um, clearer thought process. Uh, so we'll we'll work on um, the specific mudras in class, uh, but your typical um, um, you know mudra that I like to talk about is your namaste or uh, pranam, and um, this is like combining the tips of all the fingers and the palms, bringing it together. So scientifically, your uh, namaskar is, uh, is really intending to connect the right and left side of your brain. So it's kind of like bringing in um, that harmony between two sides of the brain that actually helps in more enlightenment and awakening and kind of harmonizing the thoughts because your right brain is very egoistic and it's very like judging and it's always like everything has to be logical whereas your left brain is more abstract and ready to kind of accept the metaphysical. And so we're kind of bringing the two sides of our brain together every time we're in the namaskar pose. It's kind of getting rid of the ego consciousness and kind of bringing in that understanding of that there's something higher than us that we're you know ready to embody within ourselves uh, and so this mudra um, especially in your yoga poses um, is emphasized on so uh, we'll discuss more in class but this is briefly about the mudras I think it's a great way to um, kind of incorporate them in your day-to-day um, -day practice they're simple to do and uh, we'll have a handout in which you will have the specific um, four or five mudras that I think would be really helpful for you to kind of do on a regular basis, right?